good evening uh, welcome aditya nadja uh, to this uh, covid cares uh, from heart adopted foundation uh, this is dipankar krishnavish as you know uh, heart adopted foundation which works with underprivileged women in northeast of india and help in their uh, sustainable livelihood has organized this series of lectures where we are talking to a bunch of people who are ordinary individuals otherwise but did some extraordinary things during the covid times so when the country went into the lockdown at uh, end of march most of us got very worried about ourselves including myself we started thinking where will be our supplies food uh, maid drivers but very soon we came to know that you know came to understand let me put it that way that there is a large segment of the of the society who who actually are struggling with much baser issues like jobs cash flow food we saw the migration a migrant issue we saw urban poor issue we also got to hear little bit about the farmers who are struggling because their produce was ready but there was no procurement but you know in this whole thing of society government standing up for the individuals many cases and i tell it and this is a revelation to me also we sort of missed out certain segments whom we felt are being taken care of but they just fell through the cracks i mean just to give an example you know large companies so when you look at a you know 1000 or 5000 crore company we feel that they are taken care of because the company is giving salaries even if it is reduced salary but all these companies have hundreds and thousands of temporary workers and many of them are jobless right so there had been segments of the society who fell through the cracks and very few people actually understood that they exist or their struggle is real and stood up to do something about it so today in this episode we will talk to aditya jha or jha ji or adi as lovingly called by many people uh, we will be talking to him i will briefly introduce uh, uh, he we uh, adi is obviously a multifaceted guy first line itself will give give away he is a filmmaker he is a ad veteran he is entrepreneur he has worked in very senior positions in corporates actively involved in many social issues and more than anything he is a great engager of people you know in multiple dimensions at present he is a ceo of crayon pictures and the executive producer of national award winning uh, 3d animation feature film delhi safari i understand their next film is due sometime soon uh, before that he was the global head of corporate marketing and branding at infosys uh, as i mentioned he worked in multiple companies uh, uh, before infosys acl lintas rediffusion ogilvy and mathir aditi and talisma and also incubated uh, uh, his own venture big leap aditi is a btech from iit kharagpur and studied in, at st javier's doramda so adi i will be back to you and fundamentally like to hear from you you know i you know just for the viewers and you will talk about it you know this particular thing which i was saying that you know that there are people which in um, you know seemingly unaffected uh, you know organizations right who actually because of circumstances have fall through the fell through the cracks right like you know we also heard another example of temporary workers in health health segment right you know thousands of people are taken temporary works and we failed to oh, healthcare people the government was also saying that we'll protect them we'll give them 50 lakhs worth of uh, insurance but you know end of the day many of them were actually not getting their salary so uh, you know so you did this wondrous thing actually you laid for our alma mater iit kharagpur of thinking about being sensitive to this large number of mess workers who come from very underprivileged sections of the society and who actually are temporary workers and sort of got caught in a very very tough situation where you know given the fact the government uh, you know the even iit is a government organization cannot suddenly you know open their books and start giving money because they are employed to somebody else but anyway i would like to understand from you is this whole complexity of the thing and 
how did you really got aware uh, became aware of this particular challenge you know it, did it come to you on your own or somebody talked to you and then what did you think or what did you do yeah dipanka thanks thanks for having me here uh, to discuss this uh, so uh, you are giving me um, too much credit uh, on this okay uh there Brilliant. were different there were couple of different building blocks so it foundation had started a fund okay for um, all the workers um, uh in the it ecosystem not just employed with it but including rickshaw walas gobi all of them mm-hmm. uh impacted it is called you know impacted by the covid 19 and in the vicinity of kharag okay um so there was a fund that had been started so that was equation 1 okay um equation 2 was uh, i got a call uh, from a friend uh, i don't know if you remember joe fernandez our mm, of course yeah musician. and he says hey man uh, you know we planning to do an rp hall uh, quiz and jam okay mm. Mm-hmm. so let's uh, you know kind of broadcast it on the p93 group and what i did was i put these two things together okay so i took the quiz and i said we will do the quiz okay you guys do the rp hall quiz right now because and i will do the rk hall quiz and i'll make the other hall do it and we will turn these all quizzes into a fundraiser and then we will go for a inter hall fine mm-hmm. right and that's what we did and see the other thing is all the people inside you know inside the it campus and as part of the it ecosystem they have no one else to fall back upon right absolutely okay i mean look at the nice canteen people right, um, right look at the cycle stand person look at the fruit stall guy who runs a business think of praveen pujara of rk hall okay um the institute closed on 13th march uh some students were still behind but most of the students left and once the students go the dhobis have no way of making money the fruit stall guy the guy who sells does the xerox the guy who has the coffee kiosk all their business goes away the rickshaw guy his business goes away and so they were the ones who were really slipping through the cracks really really slipping through the cracks so so we put together this uh, we did the rk hall quiz as a fundraiser and then after that um, i created a playbook mm-hmm. um, step by step what all is to be done and distributed it to all the hostels then we created the teams we i created the inter hall quiz council with two people from every hall all the under old undergrad halls and uh, then tech council got formed promotion council got formed it was like a wiki i mean then once it caught fire it caught the imagination of everyone and right. uh, and everyone just came and we just mm-hmm. made sure that we covered we covered the whole generation it was not just inter hall it was inter generation so we made sure it was wide enough to cover people from the 60s 70s 80s 90s 2000s 2010s and in every single case we had or almost in every single case we had the current hall team also taking part so that's how we put it. so uh adi you know uh, this is um, you know i i was also little exposed so you know this quizzing is very integral part of uh, you know iit culture and you know people people sort of uh, uh, you know have strong emotions um, you are also a quizzer and it's 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 uh, something which which unites people energize people but it has always been in a physical form right now it obviously have a, a you know challenge of trying to make it 
digital right so you have this technology challenge you know quiz is a lot about um, uh, you know integrity uh, then it is about you know the time the there can be latency people might fall off and also it and done even if you are doing it for uh, charity you know end of the day people will be competitive and people can emotions can run high so uh, <laughs> how did you think about those challenges and how did you address i mean i will i like to hear from you all the way to mm-hmm. the final quiz but these challenges how did you uh, address uh, see i uh, you know i am an eternal optimist i have got a deep and abiding faith in humanity in general and in my friends in particular right so um while it is competitive every quizzer who is and okay we went for the top quizzers in the history of iit kharagpur okay for every hall we except for sick chat and his team i guess from lalu hall i think we got all the all time great quizzers taking part okay mm-hmm. this was not a casual let's spend time quizzing okay it was highly competitive and at stake what two things one was raising funds for our people in kharagpur all the mess workers the canteen guys the cycle stand guys the rickshaw guys the dhobis okay for those people and at stake was another thing the bragging rights for being the greatest quiz team of all time okay uh so with such competitiveness no one wants to win this by cheating okay you will get caught and your own iman your own you know uh, compa- uh, conscience is not going to let you do that hmm. and quizzers don't cheat okay i mean uh, there is a certain pride come on whether you know it or you don't know it and uh, quizzers understand that uh, serious quizzers definitely understand that and uh, we made sure we just made it very clear look it is your word of honor and we will not uh we will not doubt you once you have given us your word of honor we believe then came the second part which is how do we design it in which we eliminate any temptation of cheating okay so mm-hmm. we took we took care of that a lot of visual questions um, were used which are impossible to uh, uh almost impossible to uh, google uh, we did time restrictions in the finals if you remember siddharth basu's last rapid fire round you had 90 seconds for six questions okay um, uh, uh, yes that's uh, you know you it's very difficult to uh, and that too in the final round uh, you know uh, it's very difficult to google so we made sure that we created questions in a way that is difficult to google but it was fundamentally a trust uh, issue the rest of it is very simple the rest of it actually you know uh, uh, you don't need to be present on the uh, stage uh, you don't need to be in person zoom creates that i mean you remember everyone when you do quizzing uh, there are there a quizzing happens at two levels one is between the quiz master and the team the teams on the stage but at the second level it is between the quiz master and the audience right it has to be for the the way kon banega karodpati for example works you have to put it in a way that it is you know you are almost there it's not that it goes tan to you you know you have no right. clue what Absolutely. is being yes. asked yes. Yes. right uh, you it should be almost within your grasp <laughs> right. but outside right right so that that can be that can be generated you know even in this technology has come to our help uh, you know this this works beautifully the zoom and the casting on streaming on youtube works beautifully we had a brilliant tech team working led by georgeet and neeraj uh, uh, mandirata sashi all of them i mean this big team out there uh, uh, to make sure by the time we reached the finals we had done an equivalent of 25 dry runs or oh, really all the equivalent of there were six oh, hall quizzes that happened right oh, okay 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 so, so for each hall quiz there was a final and there were three dry runs and dry runs by the tech team so there were 25 dry runs there and we did a dry run all the quiz masters came 
uh, Arundhati ma'am came, uh, <laughs> Siddharth Basu came, all of them came, Harsha came for a dry run, all of them came for a dry oh, really? run. Really? Okay, okay. So uh, all the... For the fine, even before okay, the final. Okay, they, they, they. So, you know... Uh... And, and one sec, one sec. We also had a, a backup, Georgie, uh, a tech lead, uh, you know Georgie Nath, right? Mm. 87 RK com. Um, he is totally paranoid, right? Uh, he's the guy who made me mug up a 16 digit uppercase, lowercase, special character password for something because he thought my password was too weak. And um, he needed a backup for everything. So even though people lost internet, can I lost internet connectivity a couple of times. Harsha Bhogli lost internet yes, connectivity. Yes. Yes. We had backup in place for everything. Right, right, and, right. and that was also practice. That right. was also okay, practice. Okay. So everyone knew who would step in when. So even the redundancies were sort of, uh, you know, practice so that there is a seamless experience. Yeah, absolutely. So, Adi, you know, uh, since you dropped some Quizmaster's name, I'm sure people will hear you. They will say, oh, what Arundhati has to do <laughs> squeezing. So I'll put up that, you know, the six Quizmasters which you got. Uh, but just to, you know, so it was essentially seven um, halls, right? They did their own... Um, you know, online using the playbook and 7 into 2, 14 teams came in in the final, right? That that's Yeah, SN Hall got a pass. There were six halls who did it and SN got a pass. They got two teams into the final. Okay, so they, 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 they did, did their own, yeah, they did their own selection okay. and they had two teams. So yeah, seven, seven halls, two teams each. So there were 14 teams. So, you know, uh, so give a little bit, you know, I, I, I recollect, uh, you know, this thing went on to, I think, beyond 12 o'clock in the night. Yeah, it um, went on for four, <laughs> four and a half hours. Yeah. Right. You know, so we had these biggies, uh, you know, Basu, Siddharth Basu, obviously legend, Harshbog, Le, Jagir Hussain, Varundhati, Vatacharya now. Uh, and we also had these teams across the years, right? 80s, 90s. Yes. So give a little bit of the back end of... You know, uh, how did you sort of got these people together? I'm talking of quiz masters. How did you sort of, you know, align their calendars? Because they are busy people, uh, you know, and you, you are saying that, you know, they also did the dry thing and this is all free, right? This is all for obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so you know, getting so getting what, the quiz masters was the, uh, let me tell you, in this entire complicated, um, large, scale project, getting the quiz masters was the easiest part. Absolutely easiest part. One phone call and each one of them agreed. In certain cases, not even a phone call, just mm -hmm. one WhatsApp message. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they just agreed. And um, uh, like uh, Zakir Hussain, I did not know, but my he is like a father-in-law, for uncle-in-law for my wingman. So mm -hmm. I called him up and said, boss, can he come? And he agreed. And like that. So oh, Zakir Hussain is from was, IIT Kharagpur, is it? No, 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 no. His, my wingmate is like his okay, okay. nephew, nephew-in-law. Okay. okay, okay, okay. So uh, it's like, he's like family. So, uh, I mean, not my family, my wingman's family. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, getting each one of them was, I mean, absolutely uh, fantastic. I mean, they did not even say, we'll think about it or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and they all said, yes, and just tell us the date and time. The only uh, Question was only about the timing within that eight o'clock to twelve o'clock kind of a thing, and mm. uh, whether uh, who will come first and who will come. Uh, uh, no problem. That was my Please quarantine always dinner. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always good. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and um, so you know, even that was not an issue actually. Um, we just switched two people around, and uh, so yeah, that was not an issue. Uh, there were plenty. Fantastic. I mean, they said, and absolutely, we will do this for this cause. So, so, so you know, Adi, thanks just to, to, thanks to yeah, them. So, 
this is of course you know uh, goodness uh, for sure you know the inner goodness people have and which we have seen with a lot of people it's a, you know this pandemic in some way has shown the you know the bright side of the world uh, you know we have all seen that but even then you know with uh, uh, jakir hussain was in us so obviously there is a time issue and you know certain times i think some of them have to wait for a while uh, you are holding them for yeah 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 they're all not yeah. easy things to manage right i mean uh, no like so somebody I, was I, talking I, to them the back channel or how did you no so so uh, yeah it got late uh, uh, some of them got delayed but they they were again very gracious they didn't complain at all they enjoyed it um, and the quiz was riveting the quality of quiz um was absolutely astounding um so all the i mean even while they were waiting they were just enjoying it uh, uh, and uh, it was uh, none of them complained none of them complained oh, so uh, they are already on the page mm-hmm. okay. no so they came and say let's say the timing for was 10 o'clock or, or 9:45 so they would come in at 9:35 but then instead of 9:45 their turn came at 10:15 so you know that 45 That's minutes right. they were on the zoom and they were waiting for their chance but the rounds were going off and uh, they were enjoying the quiz and, yeah. and and they had taken and they had taken the trouble of going through the questions they were going to ask researching the questions knowing the answer we had worked out the comments some with some of them what kind of comments they will make they wanted to hear the lingo that will you know that makes sense you know you know all these tribes all the colleges have their own lingo have, have their own slang so they made the effort of picking that up you know uh, practicing with that uh, and then using it yeah absolutely and you know uh, you know you obviously know better but you know i also get to understand that you know unlike gk uh, you know many of the quiz answers are not very clear even the person who is asking right you have to make a judgment whether you should give the marks or you know you should give <laughs> them a little so that that is not something easy unless you know people really put their heart and mind into it some of them really did fantastic job i think you i recollect you uh, you or somebody was saying that you know uh, if if they would have become professional somebody like <laughs> onzati bhattacharya would have taken it professionally she would have taken few breads away from some of them so that was really great i just put some of the posters and there was this bunch of things which happened in terms of you know uh just one thing dipankar uh, i just wanted to clarify one thing so we did a lot of work in mm-hmm. making sure of uh, see remember there was siddharth basu out there there was uh, giri pickbrain out there right um they these two are the two of all time great quiz masters that india has produced right um, uh, right um now they made sure they would not go out there and ask a question or have a question asked under their watch uh, where there is even a little bit of scope for uh, interpretation mm-hmm. and so we went through we had giri's team siddharth's team fact checking cross checking the arms um, questions and the answers uh, the way the question is designed to be asked um i had to make sure that none of these questions came remotely close to any of the questions that were asked in the six qualifying rounds we had okay so you sure, went through all of that we had to make sure that the level is that of at least the national quiz level um, mm-hmm. okay and it's not that each uh, any team has got uh, easier questions or you know and it is consistent so there was a huge amount of quality control that happened on the question this was at the end of it when the finals happened it was probably one of the not one i mean i would say it's the toughest quiz uh, at the national level that has happened in the last 10 years in india absolutely and, and i think all the quality checks and the processes that go with it yeah so it i think there are some just a- One, no no uh, of course of course so i yeah. essentially what i wanted to mean is i i don't know whether i communicated i said that unlike in gk where you say who is the president and you give the name in quiz sometimes the answer may not be 
completely in sync, but you cannot take a binary view. So the quiz master has. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have done all that. Ki, what is acceptable? Right. What is not acceptable? All right, and that for uh, uh, Arundhati or you know Arsha Bogle, who are not doing quiz probably every day, and for Arsha them, Arsha is a regular quiz master. <laughs> Arsha okay. does a quiz for oh, really? once okay. in two okay. years okay. on TV. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, you know while I give a little bit of and I'll request you at the end you know what are the sort of numbers which was achieved I think a significant money was collected uh, and I will put some of these posters I wish I had many more and I will obviously put the final quiz uh, YouTube link uh, you know I think we had around eight nine thousand people joining if I'm not mistaken well there were uh, so there were twelve thousand plus streams which means about 25,000 people minimum watched. So, okay. at we filmed, yeah. yeah, so no one watched it alone. So, oh, uh, yes, were, yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, no one yes, watched it yes, alone, yes. right? So, absolutely. there were 12,000 streams. So, even if you have two people right, watching, right. it is 24,000. And right. I know of at least 100 people who told me they had watched parties. So, there were four people, five people together. Right, right. right. So, and including family, non non I used so, with my. Wife huh. and uh, Jonali and uh, for right. Some time, so I there were know. at least at least twenty five thousand people who watched it. Uh, probably closer to forty thousand is my guess who watched that quiz. So you know, uh, I'll come back and maybe I feel that this is probably a unique model which can be taken forward even post COVID because this sort of you know if you look at it, very rarely a physical uh, quiz can have a situation where people from all over the world simultaneously joining, as well as across age groups, uh, batch, you know, it, it's not that easy, right? If you have to physically move all these people in a place. No, you know, it's, it's, not it's not it's possible. It's not possible. It's just impossible, right? So, so that's why, you know, the quality of the quiz also goes up because you have the best of the best. It's like EPL of quiz, right? <laughs> The best yep. of the world has come <laughs> together. So just to give an analogy, but I'll just uh, put these photos. But can you take us a little bit? Maybe these are not all the, uh, you know, uh, all the posters of the final, but uh, you know, just uh, just run them. But uh, uh, would you like no, a little so, bit? Of... Sorry, you are telling something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So these are from the RP hall. Then, uh, yeah, uh, all these names. No, no. So these are from. So this is from the inter hall. Inter hall. Oh, inter hall. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the, that one was jam. This is RP hall. Okay. 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 I sort of got it. Uh, so this, uh, this is the or that was the organizing committee of RP hall. RP ad. Okay. Right. This one. This is the uh, this is the RK hall production team. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Now what from... happened was so what we did was look we you know that. The rivalry within Kharagpur uh, is mostly inter hall, right? The inter hall rivalry is intense, and it, whether it's sports or soccer and cult, it doesn't matter. So, this was the mother of all inter halls. Based on that, is the big thing that we managed to do. We made it intergeneration as well. So right. the competition was on two axes. One was inter hall, the other was inter generation. Bachas versus Buddhas was the other <laughs> competition that was happening out there. Okay. So that, and now we have the same technology that allowed us to, the platforms that allowed us to do this, also allowed us to get everyone together. You know, right. it went, right. uh, you know, jumped from one group to another. Then the posters came up. And like, you know, every hall, some halls started late, but every hall was slugging it out with their posters. Uh, right. so it was, it was absolutely fantastic. The build up, the 15 day build up to the final was amazing for, for a long time, for those two weeks, um, KGPI or at least 20,000 KGPI Stop talking about Modi and Trump. They even, you know, they, they forgot everything. They stopped talking about COVID, okay, uh, and arguing whether India's response is good or is, is it bad. You know, for those two weeks, it was back to the GC mode, okay? It was the build up. And the finals was the amazing thing was that five points separated the top 10 teams. 
and it was intensely close. One of the the team that came second, R. P. Hall, um, Shankar Maru, uh, Maru, Shankar Maruwada, he was telling me after that that he has not faced such four and a half, five hours of intense pressure in a long time, and he has done a lot of big things. So. That was the level of, uh, you know, the competition, and the competition brought out all this inter-hall um, um, uh, the rivalry, you know, the intergeneration rivalry, inter and, and it brought and it brought, and it brought brought out the best. It was it brought out the best. Yeah. So you know, I I I am thinking that why not have it as an annual event? You know, I don't know whether we have to create a team. But you know, this is something, uh, as you said, it's not physically possible even in normal times. Even if the pre-COVID you could not not have done it, post-COVID also you can't do it. Uh, the, you know, it's the, I'll tell you why it won't happen. I mean, someone, a I'm, hundred people have asked me this question, including all the uh, uh, big quiz masters who were there. Uh, you know, it's, live aid happens once. Okay, the second time, it's not the same thing. Uh, you can do it, you can do it, but you have to do it on a proper, probably a bigger scale. Probably the thing that would beat it is an inter IIT. You know, I know other right. IITs right. are trying to do it, uh, do the same model, and we have talked about holding an inter IIT final. Uh, that can do it. Um, but I don't know, maybe maybe someone else can take this up and run it, as, a, yeah, yeah, of uh, run it as an annual event. Uh, right, right, it's right. up to them. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's that that's the beauty of this. You know, we were no one owns us. It was not a corporation doing it. It right. was just a bunch of guys and girls who came together and did it. And we had no. Uh, we kept saying, okay, S N Hall two teams or one team. Big argument. And we said, okay, fine. Okay, S N Hall wants two teams. We give two teams because we don't have to report to anyone. We don't have to justify it to anyone. Right? We can make our own rules as long as we are fair. So, absolutely, absolutely. You know that that's, that's... Per, you know one team per hall or two teams per hall. We don't have to go around asking anyone what is the precedence. Is there a history in the hundred-year history of this co corporation? We don't have to do anything. Whatever is fair and whatever makes sense, we will go ahead and do it. So, you know, so. Yes, if it's to be done, it's a huge thing. And if you have to take it entirety and all, it has to be a sort of a structure. But this is a unique model, I mean, which is which is absolutely fantastic. And that push the quality and the engagement. You know, even I was thinking that the audience engagement was better because if you're an audience, you know answer, you can't really talk about it. But here at least you can, <laughs> you know, put it up on the, you know, at least you can show, okay, I also know, okay, whether somebody yeah. is seeing or not, or some people say, oh, stop, you know, don't, don't give your answer here and stuff like yeah. that. And then, oh my God, that engagement in the chat, live chat was yeah, something Yeah, it was like, else. you know, you can't okay. even read it. So what that are sort of amazing. collection, do you have a sense of all this together happened? Do you, do you have a number? We, uh, everything put together, all the money raised by the hall, so there were three kinds of raids that happened. One was the qualifying round, like RK Hall, which teams, which two teams will represent RK Hall. So RK Hall held its own uh, quiz, right? Does, and which yeah. team from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010, and the current Hall team took part. And that also had a fundraiser to it. And we raised money, that day we raised about five and a half lakhs, okay? just in two hours for the RK Hall, right? So that was one kind. The second was that in the final, so every hall, so RK Hall raised it, Lalu Hall raised it, Patel raised it, Azad raised it, like that. The second was the final night, okay? The night of the inter-hall final, we raised money and it kept going on till India morning, okay? The raising kept happening, uh, you know, we kept it on for 24 hours and money kept pouring in. And the third was that uh, we realized that the KGP, in the, in the institute, the administration cannot do, give cash-based help. And a lot of people needed cash-based help. And we understand that the institute can't give cash or difficult for the institute to give Absolutely, cash. yeah. Always so, so, 
so we there was a third round of raise within the hostel for people related to their own hostel okay so like then rk hall did another round for only people within the hostel wow, uh, yeah. who needed cash so that was the third round all three rounds put together we raised 1.6 crores okay 1.6 okay i i yeah. i i thought this is sub we, sub sub one actually no, so 1.6 now we raised 1.6 crores and it went to the essential the class 4 and class 3 stuff no not just class 3 and 4 it went see the, the money that went no, not staff means when i'm saying that chedi is also a class 4 i'm saying i mean yeah yeah no 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 class 5 class 6 class 7 but you know i mean why stop at class 4 that's a government classification right 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 so um you know the food uh, food packets ration kits have been given um, cash has been given and in the process even those i mean you know uh, there were mess workers who have died and uh, one mess worker uh, uh, for example for my hall um, he his wife had also died and they've left two orphan daughters so we made sure yeah, they I, got the money I read also we, they, they passed they, away is it uh, two I of them and so the orphan daughters got the money and there are guys who have decided to take care of them. Um, I mean, they're not very young uh, uh, of their academics and, um, you know, uh, uh, their job, etc. So another mess worker had committed suicide. So his widow and family also got it. So and someone had cancer. Um, uh, one of the Azad Hall uh, guys had cancer. So more money, separate money was made for his uh, treatment and he needed it more so i mean uh, absolutely fantastic every hostel um, about 50 people from every hostel took the lead i mean there was it was a huge thing when in the in the night of the finals of the quiz i had nine slides of thank you that can that will tell you how many people were involved right that that it's a huge team effort and you know, uh, great. So this is a significant number, and given the fact that you know they they usually aren't so less, and many of them are suffering from you know no cash. You know, job may not have been affected, but obviously the salaries are not coming or cut or whatever. Well, I, 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 many of them are getting salaries. Many of them are getting salaries. Okay, some of them are not getting salaries. Many of them are getting salaries, and if required, we'll do another round of fundraising in January. Depending on how long the how long, how long the institute uh, this continues, yeah. Yeah. right? The real problem is that the students are not there. Once the mm -hmm. students come, then everyone has, uh, you know, a, a, a source of income. Right. You know, the food right. the food stall guy is selling fruits and you know whatever and right, uh, right. Co right. coffee right. are sold, everything. Right. So once the students come and normal classes begin. But one doesn't know when that is going to happen. So right, right. We'll right. probably need another round in January for every hall. And we'll do it. Mm -hmm. See, no one, as I said in the beginning, no one else, there's no NGO whose mandate is, oh, we will look after the people, the rickshawalas who operate their rickshaws within IT Kharagpur camp. Right. It's there's a close no NGO. Yeah. Right. Only, I mean, only the alumni can help them, will help them, have an emotional connect. And the alumni has demonstrated that they nothing will stop them. They will help them and they will do anything to make sure that no one goes hungry out there, no one suffers out there. I mean, to the best of our ability. Absolutely. No, I agree. I agree. And, uh, you know, that is what I said, that from outside, IIT will look like a system where everybody is having their means, but there are people who are struggling, right? So we only probably will understand because we have seen them and we have been served by them. Uh, so yeah. we should also, you know, give it back to them when it is needed. They are extended family, you know, they are extended family. And and remember that these people, we, we spent four years out there, right? And these people spent 35 years. So they see 35 batches come and go, right? And they have bonds with multiple batches, the same uh, mess workers, whether it's Kondeya or Ganesh and the cycle shed or anyone. Batches and batches of the hostel guys have got an emotional connect with them. They are family. They were the family out there. 
But you can't Thanks. let them suffer. Thanks, uh, Adi. Uh, and you are uh, always, uh, you know, you are one of those unique organizers who get things done very quickly. Uh, you know, uh, we, we have seen you many times, whether it is Pan IIT or, <laughs> you know, when our PPC's uh, approval was uh, pending. So you come in, you organize people, get things done, results do come. So this, this leadership also has helped, uh, you know, I, I saw very, very, you know, in our petrol discussion that, you know, Adi is very good, you know, just to tell you, you know, he is extremely capable oh, thank you. of and all that. Uh, so you guys are too kind. That, that's also good to have somebody who has the heart in the right place, has the capabilities and also ready to, you know, put the hat in. It's it's not always available. You know, sometimes we have intent, but no content or content, but no <laughs> capacity. So good. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for taking your time out and uh, speaking to me. Uh, take care. Stay safe. Thanks. Thanks, Dupankar. Thank you so much. You take care, okay? You stay safe. And Just, let's meet thank you. whenever we can. And please sure. have your dinner. It's waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take care. Bye.